greetings from the deck of the Mega Destroyer. I am again on the Mega Destroyer because I'm in the mood to wreck something that came up. I'm on this site. It's a place decent for leads and people who are interested in network marketing or MLM. And I write articles on there all the time. And I've promoted some different things on there. Lately, I've just been talking about MLM. Because to me, MLM is exactly the same as affiliate marketing. There, there is the one distinct difference where if you're in a network marketing company, your mission, your job, your objective is to build a sales team to sell the, the product that you're promoting. That's the main thing. If you don't do that in, in network marketing, it's unlikely that you'll get rich just selling the product because most of them don't cost that much. Anyway, I, in there, I, I wrote an article. I forget exactly what the topic of the article was. And I was talking about the new ways of doing things with network marketing, which consists of building funnels and getting traffic on the internet and using a system to sift and sort the people to find out who is interested and also to showcase your system for recruiting and selling so that people will understand, hey, this is a person that's got something to offer me and I should get on this guy's team or girl because when I do, I'm going to have everything necessary to make things happen. As opposed to what they used to tell you, I, I, I cannot believe they still do, but apparently some people still believe that everyone within three feet of you or everyone you've ever met in your lifetime is a prospect, which is just not accurate. It's not a good idea. And I'm amazed that people still do that. Here's the thing. If they do, you have to understand where you are in their food chain. If someone's telling you that, that means that you are a source of leads for them. And if they talk to people and say, talk to all your friends and family and make this list of all these people and so on, what you're doing basically is bringing new people into the system for them. Well, of course, you'll benefit from it too, but statistically speaking, I think the average network marketer brings in two people, and that's if they bring in anyone. And if you can talk to enough people that bring in two people, which most likely the vast majority of those are gonna be customers, which you hope will be long-term customers, in that way, you can build a business. But if you're just starting out, understand that's where you're at. If the guy's telling you, oh, you just tell people to tell their friends and family, um, I, I can't stand here and say it's not going to work because for all I know, maybe it would. But I don't know anyone, and I've never met anyone that could do that. So I write this article about <laughs> the new way of doing stuff, and this guy apparently has been successful in network marketing doing the old school ways. He says, oh, that's a really good article. Uh, unfortunately, I'm old school and I've made X million dollars or whatever it was. And I'd like to teach you. And I'm reading this thing and I'm thinking to, to myself, what, where, where, it, how in any stretch of the imagination would this person think I'd be interested in doing something that I am obviously not for, if not totally against? It's mind-boggling to me. And I guess it's, he's one of the rare animals that can face people that would tell him over and over, dude, I'm not interested in what the hell you're talking about and continue to do that for years and make money at it. But it just, it was astounding to me how he would even waste his time thinking that I would want him to teach me. That's like, I don't need someone to teach me how to ride a horse to get downtown to go to, to work because I have a car 
and I can drive my car and I already know how to do that and I'm, and I'm pretty good at driving the car. So why would I want to go and change my entire life, spend all this time and effort to learn a skill that is gonna make my life worse? To me, it's the same, that's the way I'm looking at it. So here's the thing, if you're dealing with people that are attempting to tell you you can't do this on the internet or the company won't let you do this on the internet or you're gonna get shut down by the company that you're promoting, any of these things, but you know, because you've been alive for more than 20 years, you know that this is the way that all commerce is being conducted. It's just gonna get more and more. And I can tell you, it's not a black hat. It's not ways to get around the company. You just do exactly what the company wants you to do but you have to do things in a specific way that's far more effective. And voila, you've got the best of both worlds. It, it works like gangbusters, and that's the way it is. It, all that stuff about when you're attracting people to your business, showing them that you've got what they need to make things happen, you can set all that up on the internet too. So if you're the old school type like this other guy, you know what, send me a message, I'll give him your number. But if you're like me and you want to use technology and the latest, greatest things to attract people and talk to them and teach them how to do what you do so that they can be successful and that makes you successful and everybody's happy, click the link on this video or on the page and check out what I have to show you because I guarantee you it's going to be far faster, easier, and more effective than the old school way. That's all I got for you today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.